Um, so I, I will try to to give you a uh, short overview. Well, short. It will. I I <laughs> I struggle to do it in a short way because it's yeah. It's not so easy. Um, the idea is how can we train the, a team in in the best possible way. So especially when we talk about uh, team tactics. Oh, I, yes. Okay, just for those who uh, who were not there the previous day in one minute. Yeah, this is uh, this is me. This is my work uh, in the Belgian FA. Uh, I work with our women's national team as an assistant coach. I work for the senior men's team. I was in the World Cup in Qatar. I was in Russia in the World Cup. I was in the Euros with the team as an uh, analyst of the opponent. And um, my main job is coach education director. Uh, I deliver the pro license course in, in Belgium and also for UEFA. I work uh, as a quality um, member or an expert member of the JIRA panel, uh, which is the panel that makes quality control over all over Europe. So this is my daily environment, the men's and the women's teams. So I, I will I start from an example like what we did this week this week here in in uh, Doha with uh, with subgroup. Um, just to give you an idea, um, if you want to train a tactical topic, for example, like build up against pressing, um, playing through the third, so from your goalkeeper to the final third to try to score a goal, uh, how can we find the three players in the midfield? If this is your topic, uh, it must be very clear, and I take the example from our national teams, it must be very clear for yourself and for your players what is really the content of this topic? So I will come back just in a minute about this. We have very clear principles that we use for the players and for the coaching staff so that everybody understands what it is about. And these are also the criteria that I will use in my training session to coach my players and to make evaluation after the training session. And one of these topics is, for example, I also showed it in the in the week. Uh, sorry, I was too quickly. Just give you an idea. If we want to build up from the back with our teams, we always focus on the basic structure at the back that you will see here. And the players, they know it. This is basic structure. So you have our goalkeeper, your four, or four defenders, and our two midfielders. We have six plus one, seven players to attract the opponent. And this is what we will work on, on the in the training exercises. Like you will see here, from these six plus two, finally help, we get to the striker. Yeah, And this structure is, is the foundation of our build-up process. Is it the only one? No, it's one of the five, like I just showed you. But it must be very clear that the, that the players, that they have a framework that they have to uh, respect during the game. So before going to the training sessions, it must be very clear that as a coach, you need to have a clear game model. What does that mean? That you as a coach, you have some playing ideas and some tactics. These must be translated into principles, principles for the whole team. And of course, when you start as a coach, it's uh, it, it's always important to see who, what are my players' capabilities? What are they able to do? And then you adapt your playing idea and your principles. You adapt it to them, to their level of, of, of play. Yeah, It has also to do with the club culture, for example. Uh, let's take the example of Barcelona. Barcelona, they have a clear game model uh, where the coach, he really has to, to stick on this and where they, they will work all through the academy on the same principles. Yes. Very important last point is um, it's all about it's, when we talk about game model, there are different phases of the game. That means in possession, out of possession, and the transition game. So for me, when we talk about making training sessions more effective, it is about these five questions. How are you going to do this? What are you? I take the example of a build-up session. How do you want your players to build up? 
and then to make it specific you have to be to keep in mind these four questions who will you be focusing on what do you want them to do where and when if you answer these five questions these four questions sorry then you will automatically have a clear picture of what you are looking for and i give you an example i took here and i come i, I come back about about brighton in a moment uh, watch this video clip because you can say okay we are going to train uh, the red team is brighton uh, imagine that this is your team and you want to train on build up because the goalkeeper has the ball yeah what does that mean build up for brighton what are the concepts that they use and where every player on the pitch has a very specific role because you can say who is involved the main the main players when we start will be the goalkeeper these four defenders and maybe also these two de defensive midfield let's have a look so also here you, you see i just go back I, you see what this one or four principles do Six plus the goalkeeper. This is the basic structure. But what you see here, Chelsea is going to press with five. Ah, that is the when. When they press with five, maybe we need an extra player to help them. So then we create like six and a half, almost seven. And what is the role of the strikers? The strikers, they pin the defense. So they also have a very specific role when the ball is with the goalkeeper because it's about collaboration. And then in ORFA, this is the second principle. Find a free player. And you say, you see, the blue team, they will react. So you have to look for the free player. If you can find him here. Okay, perfect. And then it's bringing the ball to the, to the final third. Because that's the objective of building up. We bring the ball to the final third. And we try to get the, a scoring chance. Is it finished? No. Watch. Even this. This is part of the build-up process. We started to build up. We bring it to the final third. And we prepare for losing the ball. We must dominate from our positions. Like you see here, this player is marked. This player has a role. He covers this one. Here, everybody is ready for the second ball. Here, they are ready for pressing immediately. So, even when we work on build-up, there are much more other topics that are involved, that are linked to the build-up process. Like you can see here. I show you the video again, just to, to, to explain you why you have to start about this who who do you want to do what when and where on the pitch because look like you see here it's a clip at starting here at 54 minute point 35 and you will see it's a clip of about yeah maybe 12 seconds in these 12 seconds the players their roles they are changing so they are not free. How can we find the free player? That's how we can find them. But the players, they have to read that situation. And now they have to think about, okay, we go forward, we move up, we move up, we move off, we stay compact as a team. And of course, this last defender cannot go higher than the midline or much, not much higher than the midline. And you see, it's about, what was it, 35 to start? 25 seconds yeah so another example of build up because some something sometimes people think our ah, build up it is always yeah. short short like the one you seen for brighton this is belgian senior team men's team against germany so what's happening here i show you again because again you will see the players have to have to read this situation. Germany is pressing with one, 
two, three, four, five, and two more who are ready. So when they press with five plus two, maybe we have to find another solution. We attract them, and now you can see it very well. Germany is pressing with one, two, three, four, five, six. And he's the one between the six and the three there. So it's about eliminating these six players with the long pass and sprint to support or receiving player. And knowing that when we play on his on this player here on the wing, he can go into depth or he can drop here. So we look for solutions there. We support them. And you see in three passes, you get on the other side and you score a goal. And again, here you see how we keep the dominating positions. Look, if we, re if we lose the ball, they are ready, they are ready, they are ready. Here, they are ready. Yeah. So, and the last example, and to have different possibilities, to different options. Also, this is an option. Like you see, Liverpool, they press very high. Okay. We look for a long option and watch number 10. He's in support. He's ready to attack the final third. It's not a goal, but it's a good example of how can you build up? So, for yourself as a coach, it must be very clear that you have to, 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 to have clear guidelines for these different phases of the game. For the build-up construction, for the middle part way where you infiltrate to the final third, and for the final third. Without forgetting the phase four, which is the transition. So, this is the starting point. You must make that clear model and write it down that you know how are we going to attack in these three phases, one, two, three, build up, controlling the zone of construction, it's build up, infiltrate to the final third, and dominate the box, scoring zone. And then on the right side, the red, it's the defensive. Yeah, How are we going to block the construction of the build up of the opponent? How are we trying to make a medium block and regain the ball in the middle? And how are we going to defend our box? And of course, in orange, the two phases of transition. So all these things, is, is, is in, and this is how we do it. We have to, as a coach, you have to write it down that it is very clear how you want to play. Because if it's written on paper, this is your document that makes your team football DNA. For your players, with your coaching staff, it's clear for everybody what is your task, what is your role. And this is the task of the coach to make this clear to all the players. Yes. So this is how we have summarized it for the for the national team. Yeah, we have ten team tactical principles for for the youth teams, um, and and they are based upon these phases. And I, I will just I will go quickly through it through them to show you that with these ten principles. You can you 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 can work on every every concept and every moment of the game. So this is the the big the the big titles. This is the details. So oh, sorry. First of all, the, the, I will only work on the left side to the, now, and then in the practice I, I will go also to to the second part. Um, so first topic: progressive building up from the back. So we want to start from our goalkeeper. And the defenders, the, 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 this six plus two, uh, yes, four plus two, these six players. What we want? We want progression. We want to go forward on the pitch. How are we going to do this? We look for quick ball circulation to the highest weak zone of the opponent. What does that mean? i show you an example. So, And you will see, I also show some examples from the women's team to show that it's not, it's not linked to any level. Everybody can 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 do this, yeah. So you will see here build up from from the goalkeeper. So we are going to attract the opponent. We keep the ball. We move the ball forward, and we really want to go forward, not from the right right to the left to the right to the left, 
turn the left to the right and then vice versa. No, we want to go forward. Yeah. And you see, coming from here in four or five passes, coming from the goalkeeper. So this is the pressing line of the white team. She's breaking the line with this pass. She will go and get into the back of the defenders. And then also you see, we want positions in the box. They are ready. Also here, marking, covering, ready. Yeah. So I show you some pictures. When she is on the ball, and that's what they have to learn on the training. What is the best option when I have the ball here? Yeah. She is in a good position. She's behind these players. So with this pass, you eliminate these players. Maybe you say, yeah, she could play there. But this is the best option because here she eliminates them. There, this player is with this pass. This player is with the, this pass will not eliminate these strikers of England. Yeah. So it's about where is the space where you find a 2v1 option. And then it's clear the space is here. If she can play or left defender, you can bring her here in a 2v1 option, in a 2v1 situation and attack the space on the side. This is what happens here. Okay. Example from the men's team. And, and this is also how we present it to the players. All these team tactics, these are, these are pieces of the puzzle of the game. You start building up here. This is one piece. You put the pieces together and you get to the final third. And you will see there are different topses, options of... This is like the long pass. And they are ready for the second pass because they have two, three players around the ball. And then you see from one goalkeeper, you go to score the goal on the other side because it's clear what they want, what you want them to do. And this is prepared on the training session. If we get the ball on the side, one side, the other side has to be in front of the goal. So, quick ball circulation. The lovely ball. Mertens, De Bruyne. How about this from Belgium? De Bruyne again. Mernier on the right. On this side, Mertens. Back to Mernier. This is a wonderful move. What a shot at the end of it. Well, that would have been the goal of it's the It's coming team, from the same game. Yeah. Lovely ball. Hazard can settle it all here. And does. And an Hazard. And it starts all from beginning from the back so build up is not just build up to build up no build up is to bring the ball to the final turf and you have to connect these topics to each other by answering the questions who is involved who do you want to do what where and when what do you want from your strikers when we start building up and this is another example there is a free kick here free kick or no, or no. it's it's the start of play it's the build up phase yeah how can we get <coughs> so the idea is how are they pressing? Are they are pressing two, four, five, six almost? Yeah. So here there is a gap. Okay, one of your midfielders takes position there. And you can attack the final third. So this is built up, but built up that is prepared because every player has a rule. The rule of the defenders is to attract the pressing players. The rule of the midfielders is to connect the starting point to the strikers. And you can see this is every player has a rule. Watch the brain, how he will be scanning when the ball is coming. Watch very well. Up. He knows that he is alone. He can turn. And now every player has a role. In the center, there is Hazard who will go to the side and to create space for Lukaku. That's happening now. He's going outside. Lukaku is going inside to shoot on the goal. And you also see there is another supporting player. Yeah. 
So this is built up, like you see in the picture here. Attracting players, how many? It depends on the opponent. Players have to read the situation and find the right solution. Yeah. So uh, another example is about out-of-vision runs. How to get this? This is a very important topic in football. How can we get in the back of the defenders? Yeah. You will see here an example. How can we get in the back of the defenders? But you have to make a deep run without the ball. And you will see here Lukaku hop, go into depth, small pass, short pass in the in the back of the defenders and scoring a goal. Another example, where is again running in the back and scoring. Yeah, I show you the example again. So you get the ball in the midfield. This is important. This is the 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 the, the trigger for the, the striker. No pressure on the ball here with the Bruyne. No pressure. His player, this Hazard, he sees. No pressure, so I go and run into depth. And then there is the perfect finishing. So, these are, number four, the runs in the box. Why? How do we want our strikers to take position in the box? And what's also here, it's about finding the blind zone of the defender. Watch, central defender, they are watching the ball. Or player, we want him to back in his to get in his back. And this is what happens here. The defender, he even doesn't know that the striker is in his back. I show you again. He's in the blind zone. He didn't scan like the Brenner was doing a moment ago. And these runs, and, and I finished the examples with uh, an action from uh, in the Euros with our women's team. Running in the back of the opponent is the most difficult thing to defend as a defender. So you see building up and first first run into depth and now there will be a second run into depth and perfect synchronization. Yeah. So these topics, if you want to work on this kind of tactical concepts, you have to be very clear what is the role for every player? And you have to work on it in training session. And the last one, it's about the counterattack transition. It's it's a, a magic weapon today in modern football. It's really very, very important because, like you see here, the red team will not be organized. When they lose the ball like that, they are not organized. So that's the moment where you have to go fast, and verticality, looking for verticality to finish the game. Yeah. So, second point. If you are convinced about, okay, my team tactic concepts uh, must be very clear. How can we train this? And this is here, methodology is really key for the development of your players and also for the development of yourself as a coach. Yeah. So, what we have to try to do is... Forget about all the analytical exercise because it's not game related. It's not uh, 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 the same situation as in the game. We have to try to bring the, the training environment and what, what we do on the training really close to what the players are doing in the game. So the more we have similarities, the more there will be transfer and the more there will be efficiency. Yeah. So we have to align training session, training environment and playing environment. Yeah. So instead of just running and, and playing and, and passing from one cone to another, we have to simulate the real training environment. And how do we do this in our federation? We focus on much form or game forms. What does that mean? Training exercise where we have all the conditions of the real game, which is a pitch with goals on the goal line, one ball, one team in possession, one team out of possession. So you must be there must be opponents, one goalkeeper, and the real rules like offside. All the rest, when we when you have not these six conditions, we call it an intermediate form. It's an uh, it's less important because it's far away from the game. 
And in our training sessions, we need to have at least 50% of this uh, much form. Why do we want this? And how do we build this up? But first of all, it's about specificity. Everything you do in the training should be very specific. And how can you make it specific? By answering the four W. Who, what, where, and when. If you answer these questions, you will be you will have a specific topic. Yeah. Second point. In the training, we go from easy to more complex. I will give you some examples in a minute. You start easy, you start medium, you start more com mo most complex. Yeah. And in our training exercises, by being specific, we will have automatically a repetition, a lot of repetition on the topic we want. And this is how, this is the methodology, how you can make your training sessions specific. Analyze your team tactical topic. Analyze the start situation of your team. Where do you want to work on? Yeah. Determine specific uh, coaching points for this session. Who will you focus on? What do you want them to do? And these coaching words you have to use during your session. And afterwards, of course, you evaluate and maybe you adapt the next time. But these are crucial, crucial points, crucial questions. Who's involved? What is the problem of what do you want them to do? Where does it happen? And when does it happen? And this brings you specificity. I will give you an example in a moment. Yeah, these are the solutions. So when you have answered these questions, it's up to you to make like one, two, three. That's that's the maximum in one training to go from level one to level three, which means we make three game formats going from easy to medium to complex. Yes. So let's have a look how this... Uh, how this works. If you need some intermediate forms, you can do this between. Yeah, but it's not really necessary. And this is a crucial, that's why we need this game formats and this game, uh, these match forms, because we, 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 ha we have to respect the law of the transfer. If we want transfer or training session to the game, if we want to see efficiency and results, we have to respect the law of the transfer. And this means everything starts with, with your players, with their visual perception. Do they scan the environment? Do they see the opponent? Do they see the teammates? Do they see the space? Where is the ball? Where are the cells? And then they have to take a decision. What is the best action now? Where do I have to take position? Do Can I, can I dribble or is it better to give a pass? And then they go to execution. This process of visual perception, decision-making, execution, it goes all the time around. Yeah, And after every execution as a player, you make, you make automatically an assessment. You say, was it the right decision or not? Yeah, Because, for example, you, come, uh, you, you are in, in a scoring chance and you can say, do I give a pause? Or, do I, do, or, or you are one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and say, do I go for a dribble or do I, do I shoot? And you decide to dribble and the goalkeeper catch the ball. Five minutes later, again, you're in front of the goalkeeper. Maybe the assessment of your action will have an impact. You say, oh, no, I'm not going to dribble because I missed already one. I'm going to shoot now. Yeah. So this is constant. These are constant cycles uh, of scanning again, making decisions, and so on and so on. All the time, this goes around and around and around. So let's now give an example. Yeah. I, I will give you two, two examples. The first one, just like we want to, our team, we want to play like the blue team. Yeah? So this is our team. So I show you a video. And I want you to think about the questions, who, what, where, and when. Yeah? And to focus on which players, what are you going to ask them, and how can you do it in training? Let's just watch the video. A very short video. I have to say it is not the right video. 
Just a moment. I take the right one. I made a mistake here. Just a moment. It takes 10 seconds to get him here. Because with this one, it's not so, it's not so clear. So... The moment. No, I don't get him. I don't, I'm not going to lose the time. I'm going to do like this. I'm going to copy it from here. Because this is also from the same team. I can use this one. Sorry for that. I will put the right one in the final presentation. So it will be clear. So let's just watch this one. So now it's, it's the orange team. So the build up, how do they build up? And it is already a little bit in animated, does it it will help you. So if if your idea about building up is this how are you going to train this? Okay, I stop here. I show it again. So this is how you want to build up. So, if you want to build up like that, and I, I will show you now about the three levels. Easy, medium, more, co more complex. This is the most easy one. So, who are we going to focus on? The two central defenders, the two midfielders, and the two... So, we, want, we first want to focus on the central part. Yes? Second point, afterwards, we are going to bring the next level in. And the next level is this. So, just a moment, yeah. So, we first, we focused on the center, which was two central defenders, two central midfielders. We have to bring the ball to number nine and number 10. Yeah, first thing. Second thing, second topic. We add the wingers. Yeah. Because they are also involved. If we add the wingers of in our team, we also have to add the opponent. So this is the second level of complexity where we, we start building up all the time from here. So there will be a lot of repetition. Yeah. And you see at the moment, I didn't put the goalkeeper in. Yeah. And then we go to the next level. With this, I don't need this animation. Sorry, that's what I needed. And then we go to level three, where we see, okay, we started with this one. We started with these six players. Yeah. We brought it to more complexity with the wingers involved. And then finally, at the end, we bring the wing attackers, 7 and 11. And we create the full picture. Yeah, And we try now to build from the goalkeeper and to play in like an 11 v 11. But, and I just go out the presentation that you can see it here. We start from this. Yeah. We bring in the wingers. Maybe we change the format of the opponents where the two midfielders, maybe they decide 
want to go up and want to stay down. Yeah, not the bear number six will cover number eight and they will press with one player less or they press with four in the center or they press with three and one who stays. And then finally we go to the whole picture. Yeah. So we really built step by step by putting focus on the question, who do I want to involve? What do I want them to do? Yeah. So this is now a question for you. Unfortunately, we are online. We cannot do and ask your questions. But how can you now make the link from the team tactics, your ideas, to the training sessions to help your players to take the right decisions? Because it's all about that. The way you build up depends on the way how the opponent is pressing you. So your players have to learn to take the visual information and then make the right decision and make the right execution. Yeah. And now I want to show you two different examples where here in the first one, I focus on my goalkeeper has the ball. I want to build up through the center. I only I focus only on the center. And for example, we start with an easy form five against four with five with the goalkeeper against four. So this means if you play two central defenders and a triangle in the midfield, you have your five players and the goalkeeper. The opponent, they press with three strikers or one striker, two offensive midfielder and a defensive midfielder. It depends on the opponent. Yeah. So this can be your, your first start. Yeah. And then you go to the, you can make it more difficult and say, yeah, I will, I play with a four, one, three, two. So I have not three players in the middle. I have only two. So then you play like this, two central defenders, one defensive, one offensive midfield. Yeah. Which makes it more difficult. Yeah. Because you have only four instead of five. Yes. But it depends on how you play. Yeah. Second step, we bring in the wing players. Yeah, we still have the same structure in the middle, two, one, one, and we bring in the wingers on our side and on the opponent's side. Yeah, and we play six against six, six plus goalkeeper against six. Okay, we put here three small goals because they represent the strikers. Can we bring the ball to the strikers? Yes, and then finally. You can make it, you can you can help them a little bit more. Again, here you see, I have again three midfielders instead of, sorry, instead of two here. Yeah. So this is more easy for the blue team. Yeah. But again, it's it depends on what are your ideas, what is your structure, how do you want to build? And, and this is the last point for the session of today, the most important thing is you need to work, you need also to take into account what is the opponent doing. And there is where we introduce the twin topics approach. And I will do, I will share with you in a moment what I mean. Yeah. I also wanted to add something very specific. For example, in some games, you want to prepare a specific game. This is more for the older age groups and the senior teams. You say, okay, this is linked to the game plan. Yeah, I show you an example. We have the same structure, right? four defenders, triangle in the midfield. Yeah, and like you see here, it is seven plus goalkeeper, and we play against seven. So, this can be an option. Yeah. So what we do? We go on one side to switch to the other side. Yeah. And this is how we train this in training. We start on one side. Here we start on the right. On the left, sorry. And we go to the right. If it doesn't work, we go back. Hop, you go back to the other side and you open there. And now you see the, the press has been broken. 
Yeah. So this is how you can see here that I will be, I am working here with a part of the group. This is the national senior team. On the other side, there is there are the strikers working on crosses. Yeah. Because this, like you can see here, sorry, we have no strikers here. This is the defenders with the midfielders. And it's bringing to them the ID because in that game we played uh, Romania, they were, like you see here, the blue team, they were extremely shifting to one side. So they all go to one side, to the ball side. When you know they go to the ball side, okay, try to get on the other side. How can you do this? Okay, play back and switch very quickly. Yeah. So this is what we try to do here. You see here in black or defend and in uh, uh, on, on or defenders in uh, in orange the central ones, and we try to play through. Uh, there is one here, in one, two, three, four, and then the triangle in the middle. And you see we start first left, and we try to go to the right, but it's not fast enough, and this gives the time to the black team to shift here. They are all back. Okay, stop. So now you see the black team, they are shifting all here. So this is where we want to go to the other side. And that must go fast, quickly. So you see here, she can break this pass and open there. Then she's pressing, but she's too late. So that's what we have been adding in this particular situation about how can we break the press um, in that game and this this was coming from from this uh from this scouting you see romania is the yellow team uh when they, when they they are all going to one side and the other side they leave open and they leave a lot of space between the lines that was the topic in that moment yeah you see here another example maybe you can also do this that was the second option there is a big gap but you will see it here. This is also an option to break the press. Yeah. And now I want to introduce the twin topics. The more you think about twin topics, the more it, your session will be effective. What do I mean by twin topics? So if you work on build up from the back, you can you will make it more effective if you also work with the other team on high press. So you need build up means you are going to build from behind. If the press is not high, it's not effective, it's not done very well, you will have no criteria for your building up quality. So you need both of the topics. And I give you the example here. How can you do this um, effectively? So I start with a, a positional game, we call it a positional box. It's like a rondo, but it's not in a in a in a circle. Yeah, it's in a box. So we have two boxes. Pitch one here, where the red team they play five against four with the goalkeeper. It's about keeping the ball. Can you play through and can you score in the mini goals? But you first need to give five passes before you can score in the mini goals. Yeah, I want them to to use to be in a good a good position to have good ball circulation to build up from the back اعتقد اعتقد في مشكله في من عند كريس 
التصدي عنده يعني ايه؟ انت انت طلع من المحاضرة هو حسب اللي شفته هو طلع طلع من الزوم فاعتقد صار عنده فصل او شيء عنده فاصل لابن الانترنت لانه اي لانه هو طلع من الزوم الحين بنكمل نشوف شو القصه You hear me again? We lost contact. Yes, we, we can hear Lucas. Yeah. The co the hotel, the connection was broken. So it's okay, it's okay. I I share my screen again. All right. Did you still hear the this uh, explanation? Uh, yes, we are okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I th yeah. Good. So. Um, I repeat, twin topics means you have your main topic for your team building up, but I also get put in place another topic, which is the, the just the opposite. You have an attacking and an off and a defending topic. So this is how we start. So the, the blue team will really give a high press and a good press to try to score a goal in the big goals. The red team, they have to play through the press. If they can do it, it means that they did it well. Yeah. So... Second point, I bring them together, yeah, and we start like, we start with the red team, and we start in the offensive part here, and we, we try to get to the other half, yeah. What is the focus for the blue team? Press and try to regain the ball, be compact, be really effective as a team, as a defensive team, and try to get a counter-attack, yeah? So the focus of the blue is we will make it as hard as possible for the red. The red team, what is your focus? But you know, they are going to press you. I want you to play through, yeah? Try to play through, try to get to the final third and try to score a goal, yeah? If you are two coaches in a team, this is a very, a very good situation to share responsibility with your coach to say, okay, I am the head coach or I am the assistant. I do this team, you do the other team. Yeah? So, we help the red team. We make it a little bit easier here because we want them to be successful. So, we play like 10 against 8. Yes? And then we bring it. So, these are the two blocks that you can see. and Because you recognize here the start. 5 against 4. This was exactly what we had here. Remember? Five against four. Yeah, just a moment. They are knocking on my door here. Just a moment. Yes, thank you. Sorry for that. It was the laundry service. They bring my clothes back because, because I have to leave uh, this evening. So you have this situation, five against four, and you see it coming back here. So this is in the first part there. This is exactly what they did in the previous. So we build up their experience and we try to get to the final third where they try to score. Yeah. Okay. And then finally, we go to the real situation, the real game, which is equal numbers. Yeah. And like you see here, both teams, they play with four, two midfielders, three strikers. They, they play in the same structure. So both of them can work on the both topics. When we have the ball, we try to play through. When we don't have the ball, we will have full press and try to regain the ball and try to do a counterattack. So the more you focus on these twin topics, the more you will be effective as a coach and as a team because the players, they have to switch all the time from defending to attacking and from attacking to defending. Yeah. So, and this is, uh, yeah, was my last uh, slide for you. Uh, I hope that uh, you enjoyed it and I open the floor for uh, 
some questions. Can I ask something? Uh, okay, Vladimir. Vladimir Ivanovich. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can, can I ask, you told us that you cover only five point, first points, and you said that the, another five will be uh, when? Uh, is this, is, this is not a question for me. Uh -huh. I thought that you you told that it will be tomorrow. For that, uh, I, I was... Uh... Tomorrow? I will be in Belgium tomorrow. Okay, okay. Just misunderstanding then. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, okay, Mac, Mac, Captain. Uh, okay, Captain, I'm going to ask you something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, about two topics. Uh, can can we use it in, in normal days, or it's better, or it's uh, something help us in uh, you know in, in like two games in a week or, or short uh, period of time? Uh, it, what do you what do you prefer? If you have long time, you use the twin topics or you use the classic way? Uh, the, the the always the twin topics, always, always. yes, okay. because and we had a, there was one of the coaches uh, English from. from England coach yesterday, a young coach, he was with uh, with Gradimir. He was next to him yesterday. And yeah. he asked a question about, yeah, when you put yeah. when you work with your with your team and, and you you work you work on both of them, they cannot be successful both. And that's true. But that's the reality of the game. If the one, if one of the teams is not defending very well, yeah, you are going to play through. So you can see that they don't defend well. So you can they, you can help them to do it better. But yes. it is really necessary that they do it very well because that's the best opportunity to evaluate the building up from your from the other team. Yes. Because if they if they do not press properly, yeah, you can you you, yeah. you think ah oh, we can build up, but you, you in fact you can build up against a team that doesn't make the right press. Yeah. So. We really tried, and of course, it's when you are alone as coach, it's not always easy because you, you cannot observe everybody. And, and that's yeah. when when you are two coaches, absolute, absolute priority, absolute priority. Every coach takes one role and, and, and you start, you start working on the different phases of the game. You have the ball. That's what we do. You don't have the ball. That's what we have to do. Yeah. As you said, more similar to the game. Sorry? As you said, it's like more more similar to the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be, and that's yeah, the, yeah, the, and the that's uh, that's exactly what we are looking for. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, because then you know, you also see on the training who can do it in the best way, and these are the guys that you need in the in the game. Yeah. So if yeah. they want to show that they can, that they are, that they must be starting player, they have to show it on the on the training session because we 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 simulate. The game on the training session, so it's up to the, it's up to them to show that that they can apply our team principles. Okay, perfect. I just say, say it in Arabic to Captain Hazem. I just said that, you know, talking about the twin topic. I said that I learned now in a short time. Or you like to say that I'm always doing it. I'm always doing twin topic because it gives us more time for the matches. Because it's going to let us see the players from the best to the worst. وبنفس الوقت اذا انا عندي موضوع هجومي راح اشوف مدى او اقيم مدى فعاليتهم انه لو واحد ضغط عليهم بشكل صح انه يسوون بشكل صح المباراه. And and just to give you an idea because maybe it's not 100% clear but these are the twin topics. This is how it this is how it works. So here. So number one is the twin topic of number five. 
Number right. two is the twin topic of six. So okay. if 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 you have, for example, um, one of the one of your ideas is this one: uh, how to how to how to make runs in the back of the defense. Yeah, the other team. What about defending these runs in the deep? Yes. How can we defend these uh, these deep runs? So it's it's always very functional for everybody because. It's like in 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 the, in the game you are dealing with the with with the same situation as as the game. Um, some in some games, oh, no, sorry, in in some games uh, the the opponent they will they will try to get into your back. So how are you going to to deal with that? So uh, here you can really find uh, find these these topics where how you can do this. Yeah. Okay. Shabab, let's tell them no no diamond. لما يكون عندي موضوع لازم يكون عندي موضوع مواجه له ومعاكس له لحيث انه انا اذا عندي الركض خلف المدافعين ناجل ايجاد العمق لازم ادرب الفريق المدافع كيف يتعامل مع هذا الشيء انه ممكن يواجه في المباراه وبنفس الوقت هو فائده لمهاجمين انه عشان يتعاملون مع ضغط صحيح او ضغط فعال. اوكي اني كويستشنز شباب اللي عنده سؤال اما يدخل مباشر يسال او يكتب على الشات ما في مشكله. نقراه من على الشات. Can you hear? Is it a question for me? Because I don't. Uh, we just check, we just check. Ah, I, I just heard, yeah, yeah, it was Arabic, so no problem. Shaykhan Ibrahim, Kabbar. No. No, I'm small. You know, I'm the small. Well, yeah. No, no, I'm going to ask you, Lady Nixon. للكابتن ديليسون ديليسون عم بيدور على جعفر هلا ما عم بلاقي اوكي كريس كريس كان يا وسام كده سالوا لي لو لو عملنا لو انا دربت فريق على على الكاونتر اتاك على الهجمه المرتده وحصلت الفريق الثاني بيلعب الدفاع المتكاتف في الحاله دي ما يعمل شنو اوكي فريق من الهجمه المرتده الفريق الثاني لا كابتن دفاع زون هو لا هو كابتن ما دام ما دام فريق الان يلعب مرتده لازم تلقى موضوع معاكس له سو وي توك اباوت تشوزنج ذا اوبوزيت توبيك نوت تشوز ديفرنت توبيك يس بيكوز ات ويل نوت ورك اف يو تيك ديفرنت توبيكس Yeah, like 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 if I if I I want to coach a team counter attack, and the other team to be compact and 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 defending third, it, it doesn't work together. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's exactly what you need because that's yes. what the opponent that's what that, and that's what they have to learn. And if they see if if um, if if uh, the other team stays compact, there is always another solution. Because if they stay compact yes. in the center, you try to go on the sides. Yeah, but this is what's happening in the game. You can yeah. you cannot tell to your opponent this is what you have to do to make it easy for me. So yes. that that's that's why, why of course you you need some experience in the beginning. They will yeah. say, oh, what's happening? But that's why we make the level of one, two, three. So remember, we make first easy. We give them two players more, for example. If you give them, if you put them in an, in a priority or in, a, in an advantage situation, it it works. If they do the things properly, it will work for sure. Yeah, but if we have a training session like yesterday, where the players they have fatigue, they cannot run, they are not concentrated. Yeah, then you can do anything. Then it never works. اوكي طبعا اول شيء كابتن ابراهيم انت لما تختار المواضيع لازم تكون مواضيع مرتبطه ببعض يعني مثل ما قال بناء لعب ضد هاي بريس 
لما انت تبي تدرب فريق الهجوم المرتد الفريق الثاني لازم يصير الدفاع ضد الهجوم المرتد اوكي المواضيع لازم تكون مرتبطه مع بعض بالنهايه هو <تصفيق> فكرته انه لازم نخليهم بوضع مباراه وجوز هي بالبدايه تكون فيها شو شو صعوبه يعني هذا احنا نقسميها من السهل للشوي اصعب لوضع المباراه تدرج يعني بالضبط اي ويحتاج لها وقت عشان يتعودون اللاعبين عليها نعم كابتن نسام في سؤال على الشات اي تفضل كابتن عبد الرحمن العمري اي من عمر كم من وجهه نظره يبدا تعليم اللاعب على التكتيك اوكي سو وي هاف وي هاف ا كويشن اون ذا تشات ذات Uh, from what age it's a, like a good age or the proper age to learn the player tactics game tactics I can only answer these questions if they can explain me what they mean by tactics because there is a huge problem about terminology yeah. so what, um, from the moment in Belgium from the moment that we play five against five Yeah, we use tactics, but we use team tactics for playing in a team of four plus goalkeeper. Yeah, and I can show these tactics. There are only five or six because it's about what? They are very young. What do they have to learn as tactics? When I have the ball, we go open. We create space, open, width, and depth because they play in a triangle, uh, in, a, in a double triangle, in a diamond. So they have to learn how to open up, how to create space. So these easy tactics from the very beginning. Because what what does it mean, tactics? You cannot use tactics in, in, the, in the sense of strategy. That's the game plan. For kids, no game plans. Just okay. tactics. And tactics means what is my role as an individual player to play in the team? How can we play together? Yeah, I okay. I will put the, I will put the team tactics in the slides for the five v five and eight v eight. Then they can see how we move it up from easy team tactics to to medium to eleven v eleven. Here I only talked about eleven v eleven team tactics from under 15, 14, Sorry. Okay. طبعا هو ده يقول ال 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 لانه التكتيك فشيء كبير اذا التكتيك هذا معناها يقول انه احنا نلعب اربعه وحارس خمسه من هم الصغار الخمسه يعطوهم شيء شيء من التكتيك انه لما عندنا الكوره نفتح لما نفقد الكوره نرجع وننضم هذا جزء من التكتيك لكن هل هو استراتيجيه؟ هل هو تحضير للمباراه؟ الصغار ما في تحضير المباراه لما اوصل 11 ضد 11 يلا اصير تحضير المباراه لكن الصغار يلعبون اربعه خمسه هو بس يعطي دوره التكتيك ضمن الفريق يعني لما نفقد الكورة شو نسوي؟ لما ناخذ الكورة شو نسوي؟ اوكي فهذه اشياء مختلفة يعني ما هو ما هو ما هو اوكي كريس راح اسال سؤال انا كريس انذر انذر كويستشن وي توك اباوت توين توبكس اباوت سيت بليس So we can we can do it in the set place too. Yeah. Yeah, 100 Exactly. Absolutely. This is a very good remark. And you need to do it because it doesn't make sense to do set pieces without defenders. Yes. Yeah. And for example, if you play if and and, and that's the, one of the topics we, we are going to do with the pro course here next uh, next month. Um what what about set pieces o- offensive and defensive? That's one thing. But for example, if the opponent is defending in zone, zonal approach or man marking, what's the difference for yourself and, and the other way around? If you have to defend, how do you defend? Zonal marking or man marking or mixed marking? And how are you doing it? And how do you adapt? How can you adapt to different scenarios like short corner kick, for example? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. these things, it's really this, the approach of Twin topic brings you to the real game. Okay, okay. And I said, Kabat, I said, and no, I had the twin topic. Nick Dan Sakhima Bilhat Thapta. How a girl got had a shame of him and Nick Sakhima Bilhat Thapta. And the terrible difference, the foul margin in the circuit. 
الشغله الثانيه انه لازم يكون عندك تنوع لانه الفريق اللي امامك اذا انت كنت مهاجم ممكن العب ميكس ممكن العب زون ديفنس ممكن العب مان تو مان لازم تتعامل مع الثلاثه ولو كنت مدافع تتعامل مع الكرات على العمود القريب وعلى البعيد وعلى الكرات القصيره فكل شيء لازم يعني يغطى بهذه الحاله Very good question. Thank you. Captain Radwan on Abdul, tactic to Kurk Tanam. So, for modern football, uh, okay, correct, correct. it's about tactic. Kurk Tanam, sorry, Captain Radwan. I cannot talk here, let me borrow it. تكتيك بيبدا من واحد ضد واحد كباتن حدا عنده اي استفسار او سؤال؟ اوكي كابتن حازم اوكي من هي؟ اوكي كريس اوكي مستر كريس نو مور كويستشنز ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور يور تايم فور يور تندنس فور يور برزنتيشن اند هوب تو سي يو سون اجين ثانك يو مستر كريس It was a pleasure to uh, to be here. So I'm always happy when I can share with coaches because that's uh, that's part of my DNA. Yeah. So I hope that they enjoyed it and they learned something from it. I when I hear the last question, this is a a question uh, by a coach who really understood the whole concept. Yeah. Okay. And that's that's what if you want if you want to make progress. As a coach, that's that's the that these are the steps that we have to do. How can we bring our training session as close as possible to the game? Because then you have a transfer. What they do on the training, they will do on the game. Yeah. Yeah. So, so interesting. So interesting. Yeah. Thank if you if much. if you make them play against mannequins in the game, they don't play against mannequins. The mannequins don't move. They don't regain the ball. The opponent in the game, they close the spaces, they move, the, and they do a counterattack. The mannequins, they do nothing; they stay. <laughs> yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Makes yeah, yeah. so much sense. So, thank you. 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 And also for the yesterdays, thank you. Uh, if, would learn. if it if it is clear, it means that you are an intelligent co coach. You understand. <laughs> I I think I think also that you have presented very well uh, and very very on very easy way. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the one that, of the best what I have attended. But I can tell you one thing, and that's why I focused on it today in the beginning. If it's if if it if the concepts that you want to see on the pitch, if these concepts are very clear for you, you can explain them in an easy way, and that's why you have to take your time to write down what you want, how to want to do it. If you yeah. cannot explain it in an easy way, that means that it's not very clear for yourself, and then it will never be clear for your players. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Coach Chris. Yes. Yeah, please. Uh, I have only like this way uh, for the last question, please. Now, what do you think about the, the gag method and the meme method uh, and uh, this analytic method? And uh, now could you think that there are another way to make training for players to make it more easy for them to understand? Because uh, we speak about football. It's mean, uh, like what I say before, that tactics start from 1v1 to, to 11v11. And now, yeah. this way is very good. Yeah, but it's I, very good. I, yeah, I, I can only say that uh, for me, it's very it's very clear what is the most effective thing because there the, there is the, the the main idea. Football is a brain sport. It's all about decision making. Yeah. So every training activity where you ask your players to make the decisions by themselves based upon what they see and what is happening is a good is a good method it's like i always compare it with with fast food if you ever, if you eat fast food every day it's bad 
if you if you do analytical exercise every day, it's bad. Yeah, because there is no decision making enough. But if you want some repetition to work, for example, on the quality of passes and quality of crosses, one analytical analytical exercise, it's not bad. Not at all. But then you have to make the transfer to put it again in the game situation. Mm -hmm. So you have you don't have to exaggerate and say this is only good. No, no, no. What what is necessary is in your training activity, do they have the decision making like in the real situation? If they have this, it's okay. Yeah. And and we talked about it this morning. We had we had some fantastic sessions with the students. Uh, they, they presented their uh, their thesis uh, about tactical periodization. How are you bringing your tactics in your week schedule? Uh, about scanning. Everything is based upon scanning as a player. If you don't see it, you cannot find the, the good solution. So that is one of the other parts. How much time do you spend as a coach with your players about the importance of, of pre, uh, take the information and turn around, look around you, take the information, because this will help you to make the good decisions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. Abdel Maghreb. Thank you, Mr. Chris. I see you back in November. I come back in November for the final assessment of the pro course. Looking forward to that. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you one more time. Shukran Jamia.